I'm Tassiana Bienemy, and thank you for watching this edition of Sun TV News. Special media privilege was apparently given to the police officer accused of torching three vehicles, including a spanking new Ford Explorer cruiser and attempted burning down of the Chalkson police station. Members of the press were barred from covering the hearing on Tuesday, September 30, 2014, and caught one of the Providenciales Magistrates Court. No clear reason was given by the prosecution or the police. Shortly after, accused constable Mikhail Hansen was marched into the courtroom. Prosecutor Clement Joseph told a female member of the media who was about to enter the building that the media would not be allowed to cover the case. She asked why, and he said it was a ruling from the court. Other members of the media who were attempting to sit in on the hearing were stopped at the door by a detective who said that he was given special instruction by the court not to allow any member of the press inside. Pressed by the baffled reporters as to why the block was in place, the officer said he could not say, but it was instructed not to allow the media inside. Defense attorney Ashwood Forbes later told the press that the prosecution made an application to the court to obstruct the media's coverage of the case. We were told that the prosecution requested that the matter be off cameras to prevent any reporting whatsoever. They are still dealing with some preliminary issues at this time, so they preferred for the cameras not to be there. Asked as to how long the ban would be in place, Forbes said it could be lifted on Wednesday, October 1st, when the officer should return to court. In the meantime, Forbes said that there are five charges against Henson. None of the charges were read in court. A police officer who attempted to escort a boy off the Clement Howell High School compound who was not authorized to be there during school hours on Tuesday, September 30th, was left with a deep cut above his left eye after being punched by the boy. The incident escalated into an all-out brawl as other police officers who came on campus to assist their injured colleagues and to restraining the young men were also attacked by other boys, who it is understood were students in their uniforms. Some of the boys were escorted from the scene and police vehicles, while the injured police officer sought medical attention. I'm Tassiana Bienemy, and thank you for watching this edition of Sun TV News.